Hi, it's Elizabeth from the Toy Hoarder. Today I have another brand new Toy Story toy. Now this is a 25th anniversary of Toy Story toy, so it was not supposed to be released this late. It was planned to be released earlier than, you know, now. But a lot of these things have been a lot harder to come by because of Corona kind of messing up where all of the merchandising has gone. So I would have not been able to find this in retail stores yet, however I was able to pick it up on Amazon, which I usually don't shop Amazon as often, most of the time I can get it cheaper at a retail store. However, we haven't been getting them at the retail stores, at least near me, I know where I'm not in a very large collector town apparently, so all the stores near me do not stock this stuff as intensively as other areas. So you may be able to find it in a retail store, you may have to get it on Amazon, it may go in and out of stock on Amazon, but I was super excited to finally pick one up because y'all, look how cool this is. It's got this huge spaceship that also has a handle that when you squeeze the trigger shoots out the little blast missiles. I can't even, guys, I'm so excited right now. I need to get it open, but before I do that, let me show you up close the packaging. Of course, if you'd like to pause to read anything, please feel free to do so. I'm not going to read it to you, but it is called the Galaxy Explorer Spacecraft, which interestingly enough, it doesn't actually say anything about Buzz Lightyear in the title. It's just called Galaxy Explorer Spacecraft, which is interesting. Oh guys, okay, I'm sorry. So when you, when you hit this handle button, it releases a claw that then you can grab stuff, but there's a different button uh, over here that will actually release the missiles. So guys, it shoots missiles and it has the claw on it. It's also a Buzz Lightyear spaceship. And I, I like it because it's a thinner spaceship. A lot of the spaceships that we've gotten for Buzz Lightyear are these huge bulky things, which is epic, don't get me wrong, but if you have a lot of these, they take, a, they take up a ton of space. They tend to be really heavy for some of the younger ones and for, you know, dropping on your toes and things like that. So this is a really good size. It's very easy to carry around. I am super stoked. Okay, let's see what we're looking at on packaging. It looks like Buzz has a rubber band around his waist or a couple of them actually. So you're gonna cut those two around his waist. And, oh, he's got one kind of, I don't know exactly if it's, it's around his arms or something, but you're gonna have to cut this one that's behind his shoulders, I guess, is the best way to put that. And then that will come loose. Now the Buzz Lightyear figure is loose. There's a zip tie at the top here where the spaceship is, so you're gonna need to cut that one. And pull that loose. And then is that, is that, that can't be all. Oh, there's the claw thing that I was telling you guys about. I don't think it's gonna do it inside the packaging. Anyway, I, no, it's not gonna do it inside the packaging, but what's this? There's another piece inside here. All right, how do I get this out? How do I get it out? All right, guys, I don't really know, so I'm gonna cut this open here, all these little pieces of tape in here so that I can see the back of it and see what is going on here because I do not want to break it. But the good news for you guys is once I get this open and tell you, then you'll know how to open it potentially more efficiently than I'm about to. So there you go. But that's just one of the many services I provide you with. Okay, guys. Oh, I was not meant to be in advertising. How do I get this out? Oh my goodness. Yes, you're going to need to open the bottom. That's what that comes out to. I cannot get my scissors in there. There we go. Is there one more? Oh, oh my goodness. Man, they got tape everywhere here. Everywhere. You can't just cut those pieces of tape because the tape is on top of the little um, tabs. Okay, so inside this section is where you're going to find the other half of the wing and the instructions. I still don't know if you can see. Wow, I can't, why can't I see? Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm a little 
little bit too excited and jittery right now to do this, but I'm trying. All right, so there are instructions in here, which probably shows you how to assemble it. You're supposed to get this spaceship piece, your two missiles, your extra wing, and your Buzz Lightyear, so we've got all the pieces, that's exciting. And we assemble it by sticking this wing in the other side of it. All right, so once you open this bottom piece, I'm gonna turn this around so you can see, you can see the tabs at the bottom. So this is where you're gonna wanna open to get the rest of the spaceship out, is just this bottom piece. You didn't need to do this whole piece. That's, well, actually, I guess you do because there's one more piece at the back. If I cut this, you'll be able to see it. Hold on. Where are we attached here? Okay, I don't know, but if you look in there, you can see this back one. All right, I am going to, they're taped. Man, they don't make this easy, do they? So you're gonna have to rip the tape off of it. And then once you get the tape off of them, you should be able to twist them out. All right, got the tape. Ah. Spin that clockwise, kind of lift the tab and then spin it. I would show you guys, but this is gonna be so hard to get it at an angle to show you and still be able to spin it that I'm not gonna do that. There we go, got it. Okay guys, got the little spaceship thingy out. And then the missiles are just a pull it back from the cardboard thing. Nope, they're not, they're actually attached on the back. Man, they had to make this really difficult packaging, you guys. You can have the buzz out and you can't have anything else, ever. All right, I would recommend cutting it off of the front of it. You're gonna need to cut along one end of it and then the two middle pieces, at least. You might wanna cut both ends and then the middle piece. I was able to get it out with just the middle and the end. That was really intensive unboxing. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm good, you guys. So this wing goes in over here. I'm gonna line it up just like the other one so that it looks identical on both sides. And these missiles go in. There's a little click when you push it all the way in. The seatbelt has different knobs that you can put on here so Woody can ride this spaceship if you'd like as well, or any of the other posable seven inch characters really that you've got, maybe even some slightly smaller ones. But I'm gonna put Buzz on here because that's who I've got and that's who the spaceship, you know, belongs to. All right, bud, buckle up. It is an elastic uh, seatbelt, so you can kind of pull on it to get it over the tab, which you're going to have to do because it's not easy to get around his waist, surprisingly, and you're not gonna get it anywhere higher. That's the largest slot that I put it in right there. So that's kind of interesting. It's gonna be a little difficult to do that. Um, it looks like these handles move a little bit, but I don't think they're really supposed to move too, too much. His hands weren't, weren't meant to grip this. Okay, come on. Trying to get his elbow in the right direction. Here we go. Now we can sort of hang on to this. This hand was meant to grip a handlebar. We're, get, we're getting close here. He's just, he just got such a wide, I guess, He's got wide arms and this wide chest piece that's above his waist, and so it's a little difficult on those, but sort of got his feet in here and his hands. And look how awesome this looks, you guys. So here he is in here in this nice, sleek, futuristic spaceship thing, and these wings do fold up for storage or down, whatever you would like to do. They also can be aimed at any direction from all the way up to all the way forward here so that's super cool they are attached to the same center axle i guess so as you turn one the other will also turn you can't put them at different angles at the same time but still a pretty cool feature now this front of the glass i don't know if you guys could tell in the box or even when i just showed you but it does have some etched in Oh, they're etched, they're etched on the inside actually but has some etched features of different dials and gauges I'm gonna try to show this. Can you see it? Can you see it? A little bit, you can kind of see it. I don't know if you can see it better with my hand behind it or not. But anyway, there are several different dials and gauges. We got, ooh, the sticker's coming off a little bit. 
Got the one in the front and then a couple of these side ones and some kind of around things, some stuff down here. I don't exactly know what all of it is. Very futuristic, high techy Space Ranger type important things, but you can pretend it's whatever you need it to be. And you can hang on to it by this handle up here. And then this red piece is the trigger for the claw. Oh, that is so cool. So he actually will lean forward when you do this and the claw comes out. Oh, that's so neat. And then if you pinch the sides right here, you can actually articulate the claw so you can pick up little aliens. I really wish this set had come with an alien that you could pick up. And I think on the back, yeah, on the back, it shows you picking up an alien, which really would it have been that difficult for them to add in just one little alien that you could pick up with this. No, it would not have. I think they really should have done that. But you're going to have to buy an alien either in a separate pack or a separate alien one. Hopefully you can find one that has a small enough alien because I think the 7-inch figures might be too big. I'm not sure. I do have a pack of the 7-inch aliens. It's a 3-pack of them. And they're not obviously 7-inch tall. It's a 7-inch scale line. So I think they're maybe about this tall. I don't know. I don't really remember. I have to go dig them out and find out. But anything that you would like to pick up with this, you can mess around with. I think it would have been kind of cool, too, if you could control this claw from further back. But it's still pretty neat. You can still kind of two-hand it here. And even smaller kids will be able to hold it with one hand and do this. It's not a super heavy toy. It's not a super light toy, but it's not crazy heavy. I mean, six or seven is going to be fine picking this up and holding it. I mean, maybe younger, too. It's really it's hard to say. It's going to be based on your child. But it's not as bad as I was... As, as a lot of the spaceships and things are, which are very difficult to give to the younger kids. All right, guys, we've got to shoot these missiles. I have my dog laying over there, so I feel like it's really mean to shoot it that way. So we're going to shoot the missiles this way. All right, ready? Here we go. Oh, wow, that goes super far. I'm going to shoot one towards the camera as well. Woo! A little low on that, but that is super cool, you guys. Oh, man, I'm so excited about this. I love the stuff that comes with projectiles. I think that's a really, really fun feature. And it's got this mechanical feature of the claw, the mechanical feature of the projectiles. It's so cool. I, it needs some electronics. I definitely would like to have seen some electronics in here. Uh, it looks like mine is like dusty or something. I'll have to clean it off later. I don't know how it got dusty. Super cool, you guys. I really like this a lot. I probably, when I store it, will well, actually, the really nice thing about storing this, if you, so if you push these fin things upwards, when you store it, you won't have the problem of the projectiles coming out while it's stored, because it doesn't actually go far enough upwards or inwards to hit the button. So the button's on this top inside right here. So now I have the button blocked. It will not shoot the projectiles. So I can store it with the projectiles inside the thing so they don't lose the projectiles and or mix them up with a different toy's projectiles because most of the time the projectiles are not compatible among different toys. The only thing I think really would have made this better is that if we had electronics in it, some kind of light up thing in the front um, or maybe a wheel so that we could ride it on the ground instead of just a hover. You know, even if we just had wheels right here or something like that, I think that would have been cool. Um, but definitely something electronic so that it would make some kind of blastery spaceship sound or when you shot it out, it would make a blaster sound. Something like that I think would be really neat. A light type thing here or a light on this keyboard thing would have been fun. I don't remember... Did I show you guys articulation? I don't remember if I showed you guys articulation, so I'm going to show you articulation on him as well. Okay. He doesn't have any kind of helmet on him. Sometimes they have a half helmet or even a full helmet, but this Buzz Lightyear does not have a helmet, which I think is really interesting because he's in an open spacecraft. So that's super dangerous, you guys, but he does have a 360 degree head turn here. There's no tilt in his head, just the uh, spinning here. Then he's got a full ball joint in the elbow, full ball joint, I'm sorry, full ball joint in the shoulder is what I was trying to say, and then full ball joint in the elbow. Then he's got a twisting joint in the wrist, a twisting joint in his waist, which actually does twist the full 360 degrees. Then he's got a full ball joint in his thigh, full ball joint in the knee, and then nothing in his ankles. But it's a little bit weird on the way that his feet 
and bottom of the legs are designed. So a lot of these Buzz Lightyear toys do not have ankle joints because it makes it really, really difficult to get him to stand up if you put ankle joints in him. Also, either the joints end up being too tight or too flimsy, so they're too hard for the little kids to move, or they're too flimsy and it's just ridiculous to try to pose him standing. So he does stand on his own. I got him almost standing there. This one does not have any kind of wings that pop out, but he doesn't need them because he's got his flying spaceship, so I'm okay with that. Uh, he does have the painted on stickers that say Lightyear, Space Ranger, and Laser, and they are painted on, not actual stickers, so that's good. There's a laser button here, and it is painted red. It does not actually work. The button doesn't work, and the laser doesn't light up as a light bulb. Um, so that's a little bit disappointing. I might use one of my other 7-inch scale buzzes with this ship that actually does talk and do stuff. For example, I got the Take Aim Buzz Lightyear, which is a super cool one. I might put him in here. That would be fun. Just so it's got a little bit more electronics going on. I think that'd be really neat. So let me know what you guys thought of this toy down in the comments below. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, please do hit that red subscribe button down below and also leave a like while you're at it. If you'd like, please share this channel or this video with your friends and family and then go check out my channel. I've got plenty of other toy reviews, Lego builds, and all sorts of fun things on there for you guys. So until next time, have a great time playing. Bye.